All right, here going over how I installed my reverse lights on my Chevrolet. Um, you could build all the pieces for the harness um, individually, but they were night nylite was running a special where their whole harness was like ten bucks. It was astounding, ten or twelve bucks. So, I mean, the relay itself that you buy is nine is like nine dollars on amazon like i mean you couldn't build this harness cheaper than what they were selling it individually i guess if you're a big electronic shop and you're buying these like in the thousands then yeah you could build it cheaper but for me it wasn't cheaper for me to go buy these individual parts and harness stuff plus it saved me time so this is your basically what you're you're going to do in your truck um this is the harness, um, the switch. Now, I wanted my lights to either run on the reverse light or if I wanted more light behind my truck, like get out and it's dark, I wanted to be able to cut it on by a switch. So the switch they give you is just a, a two, two piece, I mean, a, a two pin rocker switch. Um, so you can't use this switch if you wanna do what I did. Now, if you just wanted to cut on, like when you push, press the button, you could use this harness. I didn't, so I did buy um, some two-way switches. So it's like the three-pin switch, so you can rock it back and forth. So like I could have it one way where it's on the reverse light from the transmission um, switch, or I can just cut it on and have it on. Um, so you have to actually get a three-pin switch to be able to use that. All right, so those are the ones I got. I don't know if you want to see what that is. That's what I bought, got it off of Amazon. And then I did buy an extension from these. So all together, this was like, I think 20 bucks or 21 bucks. I bought one of the harness extensions and I bought the wire harness. Um, and the extension part was just the two wires running back. Um, going back so um yeah so that's what i have i um will go out to the truck and i'll show you how i installed it all right here was my 2500 hd 2001 uh, i'm gonna start here under the hood let me get my light out so y'all can see so you can see there's my relay i have it screwed into the side there um comes over there's my power wire. You can see the fuse on it. And I have everything mounting inside under here. There's a red T-post here you can get positive um, from your battery. And it's easy for to mount for accessories. So I have that running in here, mounted in here. And then I have my ground mounted right here. I have a good ground here. I just cleaned it off. Easy to put there. Um, so that's my my power to my lights <clears throat> that actually power the lights because you're not going to put full power to your your switch or your trigger um so then you can see from the relay you've got multiple wires two sets of wires come down one is running to your lights which is in the back of your truck and then you have another one running to your switch which is in your truck so i'm not rounded routed the one for the reverse light oh let me cut back to the reverse light so under this when you take this off to tie in for your power i tied into my reverse light here because i couldn't figure out under the dash which wire was um the actual reverse trigger um so there's a two lime green wires in this center hopefully y'all can see it i have taped up because it disintegrated when i touched it so just be careful when you start touching the harnesses under here that's why i have it taped up um i was able to tell because under here you actually have it called out you have your um here you go vehicle backup and uh trailer backup so I tied into the vehicle backup one, which you can see here is the 15 amp and the 10 amp here. So once you pull this off, you can look and see that the vehicle backup and the trailer backup, which are lime green wires, are coming through this harness and up. So since my harness already, you know, 
uh, disintegrated. I just took that, see that green wire coming up in here. I tagged into up here in the harness um, to that green lime, lime green wire. There's two of them, one for the trailer backup, one for the vehicle backup, but I tied into the vehicle backup. And so you can see that green wire and that one set of heart, that one set of wiring going in through the firewall there. And that's going inside to my switch. I'll take you under here. So uh, coming in through the firewall, you can see it, that white little clamp uh, right, right there is part of the switch wires. You see you've got red, white, and black. And that comes over with the green. And the green coming, you can see the green here and the black one back there. And it comes to my switch here. Now, since <clears throat> this had original rocker switch, they ran a ground. That's that black wire you saw over here on the white clip. Um, the black wire I just cut and left taped over because it's useless because we're not having a two-piece rocker, at least for my, my set isn't. Um, I have two. I have down which is for my reverse trigger, which is the green wire. And on our trucks, that reverse trigger is from your columns reverse from the transmission. So that's my trigger to my switch. So with it running down, like I have it here, as you see, anytime I put it in reverse, my reverse lights come on. Now, if I were to push this up, right, then it's just acting like a switch are always on because I'm feeding power from it directly to it so you'll see that these are on so that's they're always on because it's on a switch um, so I'm gonna put this back to how I want it on the reverse and you can always turn it you know if you're parking it for a long time you're gonna go away you can put it in the middle and then it's off and it won't drain your you know if somehow something happens and it starts draining but I just leave it down on reverse all right, so that goes with my relay, my switch install. Um, now, the power to the lights, you can see there's zip ties down there. That's where my power for my lights is running. And I just keep it going along with the harness going back to the rear. And you'll see that down here. I'll get down and I'll show you where I'm routing. So you see those orange zip ties. My harness is running up there. I put it in Romec, even though you didn't need to, or the cable tie harness. That's the one I, I'm running. Runs up over top. You can see the zip ties again. There it is again. I ran it all the way back here. It comes along the frame, hops over the frame there, and rides on the inside of the C-channel. You can't see it here until it pops up right there you can kind of see it popped up let me see if i can get some light there it is um and then it runs down back here and let me see if i can't show you yep so it comes up and over and connects to my light just like that and this is tied in just i drilled a hole and put the bolt through that came with the with the lights and then my other one you can see runs over and does the same thing on the other side. It's tied in on that side. So a lot of guys are starting to cut it, cut it out and put it here. I don't like doing that because essentially here you're just lighting up your tail hitch. Um, I put it down here and I like these because you can turn this out and have it shine exactly where you want it. And I have mine turned out. You can kind of see it. See how it's turned out. You can't really get that if you mount them here because that's where you have to because you have your mountain. That inner support bracket is right here. So you can't really mount it. I mean, I guess if it was a rounded nose light, you could put it here. Where if I did, I would cut it out and put it here because it does look like a better finish. But every guy you see mounts them here. And that's just completely useless for me because I just want to be able to see the curb and I want to see things, you know, light on it. That's the whole purpose of doing it. So, but yep, that's how I mounted mine. Um, hopefully that helps you out. I feel like I actually did it the right way on this one. I know on my older, older Chevrolet, I uh, just tied into the reverse lights here and just brought power down, which 
really is no biggie when you're talking about 18 watts for an LED light. So hopefully this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.